Are you serious? Are you serious? We've got an asteroid, a big, big asteroid, going to go roaring by the Earth today, May 31st, 2013. Get a cup of coffee, grab a Bible, and turn it right to Luke chapter 21, 25. Do it now! I'll wait for you if you want to pause it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Luke 21, 25. I've got some coffee here, drinking out my something Biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. You know what it is? Jesus is coming soon. I'm really looking forward to his return. I'll be honest with you. I'm ready to go. Are you ready? You better get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. We got an asteroid coming as well. Here's the deal. The Bible says, and I'm going to read this article to you from NASA, this report. But Jesus said it this way. In Luke 21, 25, he was already telling you a lot of signs of the end times. He said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity uh, on the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Well, this is the report coming out of NASA today, on this May the 31st, 2013. An asteroid's going to fly by the earth, and it's a big one. Washington, D.C., NASA reporting, it's like deja vu. Another asteroid is paying a visit to the Earth-Moon system. Asteroids have been a hot topic since February 15th. You remember when that one small asteroid exploded over Russia and another larger one in 2012. Uh, it was the 2012 DA-14, remember that? When it made a record-setting close approach to earth on the same day, this happened the same day, you had this asteroid, which was called 2012 DA-14, that went scraping by the Earth, February 15th, 2013, just a couple months ago, and the same day, that boom, that explosion, that and it, and it crashed into the Sib Siberian mountains, into a frozen lake, and it was so powerful, it was caught on video, that it damaged over 1,200 buildings, injuring over 200 people. This thing was unbelievable. Well, this time, the inner looper, what's known as the 1998 QE2, that's the name of the asteroid that's going to go by the Earth today. It's huge, too. It's huge. It's huge. Now, uh, the name of it, again, is the inner looper. It's called, the, the name is 1998 QE2. It's a potentially hazardous asteroid. It's 2.7 kilometers in diameter. What? That is a big rock. That is one big rock. And astro astronomers are preparing to study this space rock as it harmlessly passes by. Uh, this is a big asteroid. Quote, that's going to be one of the best radar imaging targets of the year, says Lance uh, Beaner of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Quote, as my old friend radar astronomer Steve Ostro used to say, Spaceship Earth is making a flyby of the asteroid. Uh, so we're going to exploit the capabilities of the radars to understand as much as possible. Now at closest approach will be today, May 31st, 2013, the asteroid will come within 5.8 million kilometers from the Earth, about 15 times farther than the moon. But yet, that's pretty close because it's a big rock. Don't worry, it's not going to hit us. It's not going to hit us. But here's the thing. What might hit us is the, the smaller rocks and meteorites and stuff that fly with these. Now, that last one, that DA-2014, uh, it was close. I mean, it got close. It got within, like... I, I can't remember if it was like 
within a quarter, uh, like 250,000 miles or something. It was close. So because of that, we got hit with that um, asteroid in Russia. And uh, we definitely, so there's a lot of different, and it was like 50 different people saw asteroids flying over Northern California and over um, different parts of the world. They seen fire, fireballs flying through the sky. We don't know what this might bring. This is a big rock. And so it may be bringing some stuff. I know it's bringing meteorites and smaller asteroids with it. The question is, will any of them break the Earth's atmosphere from that distance? Maybe. I mean, we don't know. And so we're going to keep a close eye on it. That's going to happen today, March the 31st, excuse me, May the 31st, 2013. You know what? You need to be ready, not because of asteroids are coming, but you need to be ready because you don't know what day, you don't know the day nor the hour that the Son of Man is coming. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 36, and in Mark 13, 32, no man knows the day nor the hour. No, matter of fact, I'll read it for you. Because you need to be ready. These signs that are in the, in the sun, the moon, and the stars, these were promised us that we would see these things, and we are. But these are just signs that he's soon to return. The question is, will you be ready when he does? You know, when I was in Jerusalem last week, there was this bridegroom. I'd been out during the day. I'd been visiting different holy sites. I'd come back. I was sitting in the lobby, had my laptop open, and I was getting ready to upload YouTube videos. And I just sat down and was relaxing, had a bottle of water there, and I was getting ready just to start typing away. I'm, I'm writing a book called Jerusalem Jihad. And I was settling down when all of a sudden TV cameras come th through the front door of the lobby, and here came a bridegroom, a man dressed in a tux, walking in. I said, what? Are you serious? What's going on here? Who's that guy? And then I turned and seen a bride coming out of a side hallway. I grabbed, fortunately, I had my camera right there because i just come in from outside filming in, the, in Jerusalem. I grabbed my camera and I turned it and turned it on and caught the moment where the bridegroom suddenly, unexpectedly, came and got his bride. She was ready. She had on the white wedding gown and she was ready. He grabbed her kissed her, took, swirled her around, and swept her off her feet and took her on to the garden tomb where they were married. I didn't know that was going to happen. It was an hour I thought not. It was, I was caught totally off guard. Here was the bridegroom coming for his bride. But the bride was ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here's what Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven but my Father only. The Bible says, watch and pray for an hour you think not. The Son of Man will come. Are you saved? The asteroid is coming by today because God planned it for today. The meteorites and other asteroids that may be coming along with it, we have no idea. Scientists, NASA can't tell us. They don't know what's coming with it. They just know it's going to go by. I know this. I don't know what all's coming with uh, with these asteroids, but I just know it's again, we're seeing more signs of the great creation. We know that we don't worship the creation. We worship the creator, God himself. Give your life to Jesus Christ while you still can, while you're still here, while you're still alive. Call upon the name of the Lord.